We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series action figure review. This time we're looking at Mandalorian Fleet Commander. I don't believe he has been given a name as yet, but we saw this guy in Season 3 of The Mandalorian. He was uh, piloting the, the light cruiser under Axe Woves. Um, it was really cool. I'm glad they've used the new body. I wish Pre Vizsla got this, got this sculpt, this Mandalorian body sculpt. Um, it is far superior. Um, but yeah, looking forward to cracking open this guy. I haven't seen many reviews of him yet. Um, there, I know they're out there, but um, most a lot of the time I tend to like to look at the figures myself first, um, then go and get other people's thoughts and opinions. But um, some I do occasionally I do watch them beforehand, but little bio on the back there which is pretty much what I just told you but cool artwork there on the back and on the side it's the same here's number 34 which is just insane that we have 34 figures I have R5D4 he's 33 so that will be coming up next but uh let's bust open this guy and take a look before I start if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new this is the way all right, folks, here is the Mandalorian Fleet Commander. I'd love for him to have a name. I think we should uh, ring up old George. He was the one that named Axe Woves. I think we should uh, recruit him to give this guy a name too, if he doesn't have one already. Uh, has Brazen that labelled one on the box? So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So accessory-wise, he comes with jetpack, which looks cool. Yeah, it's the same, same jetpack for Boba Fett. Different rocket sort of tip. Which is great, so you can sort of interchange that. That just gives you know a little bit of differentiation between the Mandos and their jetpacks and the type of rockets they might harness in here. Um, obviously, there are the peg holes for the flame effects that came with that Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, so you can reuse them on this one, which is cool. Just the sort of standard peg there on the back, which looks good. It does come with the sort of typical Mandalorian blaster pistol, which looks nice. Just a solid sort of grey mould of plastic, which is fine. It's going to be in his hand. Not going to see it too much. Unfortunately, the figure is missing a holster. So, you know, he's destined to hold on to this forever, never letting go. But weapons are Mandalorian's culture, so it's probably okay. <laughs> it's, he probably doesn't mind. And then we get the helmet, which looks great. Some of the uh, blue accents on this helmet and figure. You know, it's, uh, I think this is the same sculpt as Axe Woves, so most of the figure is. Um, but yeah, it's cast in this sort of almost pearly looking blue, and then the uh, different sort of paint accents over the top of that, so that's cool. I like that. Same with the blue effects on the figure, they're all sort of molded in this sort of pearlescent sort of blue, it gives it a really nice... Something different, I think. I think that's what I'm going for there. So yeah, let's let's take a look at the figure. Here he is, a nice head sculpt on him, looking pretty good. Looks a little bit sort of a bit of a mood. I know they've sort of just gone for a, you know, sort of a stoic, you know, blank sort of look on the face. And he's going to have his helmet on, so it doesn't really matter. But you know, in the box, it was just kind of like. Ugh, Monday. And I did pick him up today, which is a Monday, so it kind of made sense. So yeah, he's using all the same sort of armor parts. Um, obviously a few little bits of mix and matches. I think the belt's different. I don't have the other ones on hand exactly right now, so I'm just going to review what he's got. <laughs> um, I think the shoulder pads are slightly different. But again, it's, it's just a nice extra Mandalorian to have with the crew with, you know, Bo-Katan and Koska and, and Axe and then this guy sort of with them. He's starting to build up a bit of a squad. Um, sort of Death Watch. Um, I guess. I guess they're technically still Death Watch. Night Owls. Clan, Clan Krees. Supporters. And yeah, I just... just I, Never say no to more Mandalorians, especially especially when they got the feature of a removable helmet, which is really good. Um, and yeah, I was just talking about this sort of blue, almost metallic looking armor pieces, which is really, really cool. 
it's almost like a like a stained Beskar sort of look. And then just sort of compare that with the sort of the flat grey of the rest of his armour. It's, it's a contrast nicely, I think. I think it's a nice sort of balance. You know, this sort of very sort of plain, plain sort of grey of the armour. And then those sort of flashy, flashy parts. Down the bottom of the legs here, we do have sort of Mandalorian style armour. Very similar to what the uh, Shore Troopers had. So I'm not sure how accurate that is, whether it's, um, you know, something they both use or whether it's just my brain just cooking at the moment. Who knows? <laughs> so yeah, the jetpack will plug onto the back there. So that's sitting nicely. Helmet. Okay, so the helmet's a little bit loose on the head, a little bit of wobble. Um, the Sabine Wren from the Black Series also had that issue, but at least the helmet wasn't too big. I think this one looks good. I think it looks nice, nicely scaled. I'll probably do what I did with Sabine and just put a bit of um, blue tack in the helmet, just so when it's when it's sort of resting on the head, it just gives it a sort of just that little tackiness, just to hold it a little bit nicer. I think that'll be good. Just give him his pistol. There we have a pretty sweet looking Mandalorian. I, I do like the uh, colour sort of colour scheme, like I said. Looks awesome. I dig it. All right. So articulation wise, it does have the double barbell joint in the top of the head, the ball joint in the neck. So you get a fair range of movement there. It's pretty pretty solid. I believe he will have the ball and socket joint in the elbows, uh, shoulders, sorry, within the torso there. So it allows that little movement with the uh, sort of the butterfly joint and the hinge in the shoulder as well. So these parts are sort of, the shoulder armor is independent as well. Uh, ball hinge in the shoulder, uh, elbows. I am trying to get my anatomy right, trust me guys. Uh, ball hinges in the wrist, so that one's in, in and out hinge. This one is an up and down hinge. We do have that sort of torso joint in the middle there. Double barbell joints in the thighs. He does have the thigh armor, the thigh swivel there as well. I mean, they haven't cut that out of the Mandalorians just yet. Fairly decent 90 degree bend there at the knee. And I think these knee pads are also sort of independent as well. They're not stuck down. So if you wanted to have him kneeling on it, you can actually do that. You can actually shift those pads down. They're a little bit tight. It doesn't look 100% right, but <laughs> I'll goof around with that. You don't want to do it too much because they will break. It's sort of a softer, softer rubber. So I'll probably just leave them like that. He will be standing anyway. Um, and yeah, obviously ankle... Hinge and a swivel there at the foot. Get that rocker happening. If my camera wants to focus, there we go. So again, just a great, I think that looks pretty close to the actor. I think it looks pretty good. It's a little funny sort of spot, a couple of sort of spots of shine there on the side of the head there. You can sort of see that reflecting the light a little bit. Not a big deal. There's another one on that side. Again, I'm going to have the helmet on, so not a big deal. So we have it, another Mandalorian to the ranks. I think he looks fantastic. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Please drop a comment down below. Another quick look at him on from the backside there. And what's not to love about a badass looking Mandalorian? Especially sort of blues and greys. Awesome looking colour schemes. Again, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I really do appreciate your support. I'll be back with another video probably tomorrow. R5D4 coming right at you. Stay tuned for that one. Until then, may the force be with you always.